let me let me also let you all know that um, this is my week to keep my 94 year old mom. And so I'm going to be watching her on my phone. I have a camera that's trained on her. And um, so if y'all see me get up and run, y'all know she's not doing something right. <laughs> so anyway, it's just a blessing to still have mom around. And uh, I praise God and thank God for her every moment. And I'm watching her now. But at any rate, um, resolution substitution. Let's go ahead and get started here. Thank you all for joining year three. Um, we started this conversation quite a while ago um, with the idea of, are you using the wrong bait? Because one of our sisters said, can y'all help me? Because I seem to keep attracting the same kind of guy. And so we, we went a long time talking about that. This week's conference, I'm not going to do any I'm not going to do any review or any of that um, because I, I really want to. I really want to try to see if we can. Let me see who's all waiting here. Oh Lord, Alicia was waiting, y'all. I shouldn't have hit that button. <laughs> uh, y'all might also hear my mom. I got the video, the audio up as well. So uh, y'all just bear with us tonight. <clears throat> And mom is a fusser, y'all. So uh, this morning she woke up, boy, she was she was in a fit, and uh, I had to play some gospel music to <laughs> to calm her down. But everything, all is well. So anyway, uh, we are on the friend zone part two. I am gonna have to turn her down because she's really going at it for some reason. Um, the friend zone part two. We had an interesting conversation last week. I, uh, I think we had an interesting conversation last week. Um, I started last week's email by saying, if you are using the friend zone as your strategy to find your mate, that is probably why you don't have one. <laughs> Ooh, that's wrong, y'all, that's wrong. Those who are serious about being married don't have time for that game. I will finally answer the question that many have been asking, when did you know, how did you know that it was time to take it to the next level and move toward marriage? So anyway, um, I say, stop wasting your time or, or, or his or her time with this foolishness. Let him or her be the one that got away. I'm just saying. So that was last week. This week, now that we have identified why we put some in the friend zone, let's change the focus to the special one. I captured your input on both on, on why both male and females put individuals in the friend zone based on your comments from last week. Now, finally, it is time to put a stake in the ground with that special one and move on to the next level. Let's go. So that's what we're doing. I showed this last week, y'all, and I don't know, can we take a moment or do we need to take a moment? Um, because as you consider whether or not you want to move to the next level with this individual? Um, do you think this is a, uh, a, a valid question? Why? What is your motivation for wanting to spend time with me? Is, is that a valid concern? Do I mean? Yes. Somebody speak to me right here because y'all, I'm telling you, what I have experienced and what I've noticed in our society today is that there are a lot of people that want to spend time with you, but they have one goal in mind, and that is to get whatever it is they're trying to get out of you. I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me, is this is this valid? Do we need to spend any time here, or can we move on? We can move on, but that that is true. Uh, I see some new folks. Brittany, have you been with us before, Brittany? I have one. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? I, I have one. Okay, one. Okay. Well, welcome back. Yeah. Okay, and let me see. <laughs> Rosalind, good to see you back. You gonna say hello to us, Rosalind? Hello, everyone! <laughs> Oh Lord, she's, hello. Happy. she's animated tonight, y'all. Yeah, Lord, she, she sure said hello. Now, yeah, she did, didn't she? She did just what I asked her to do. All right, so all right, if we don't need to spend any time here, I'm good. I just think that 
you know, you need to <coughs> you need to spend some time here in your dating or whatever, your analysis, you need to spend some time asking yourself and maybe asking that individual, you know, what is your motivation? All right. So last week, y'all, I went back and I listened to the video. And by the way, I did post it up to the to my uh, YouTube channel. If you all subscribe, you will probably get a notification that I just posted something else up there. Um, so this is the, I, I, I pulled from the recording last week, what you female said and what you male said as to why you put an individual in the friend zone, looking at the inside rather than the outside, too goofy, too silly, et cetera. Uh, just companionship. All you want is companionship with this individual. You already know that this ain't the one, but hey, you enjoy that companionship and that's okay. As long as you communicate that, you know, because one of the things, if you look at that definition up there, the definition for the friend zone is a term used for the situation in which one person in a mutual friendship wishes to enter into a romantic or sexual relationship with the other person while the other does not. The person whose romantic advances were rejected is then said to have entered or to have been put in the friend zone with the sense that they are stuck there. Okay, so the idea is if you are spending time with an individual, uh, you enjoy their company, but you don't see it going any further, please communicate that to them. Please communicate that, hey, I just enjoy your company, right? I mean, uh, and to use a term that Archie used last week, uh, we are associates. And guess what? If you say that to an individual and they choose not to spend any more time with you, what does that tell you? Somebody tell me what that tells you. If they don't want to be in the friend zone, they want more than that and that's all they're going to accept. There you go. There you go. And guess what? They have a right to walk away just like you have a right to walk away, right? I just believe that we ought to be honest in our relationships. And so I think you ought to at least communicate that. Uh, and then uh, Andre, I believe, said when his walk and talk don't align, um, Oh, gosh, who was it last week? Uh, kind of a new young lady who said the individual is moving too forward too soon. Oh, my gosh, yes. Now, you know what's interesting about that, and I wish she were on, but moving too forward too soon, do y'all hear that there is there may be some hope that we could move forward, but not right now? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, I guess... Sister Merlene, me, you, and uh, me, you, and what's that boy name at the top of it? <laughs> and, and William, we're the only one talking uh, tonight. Uh, and then and then somebody says your values don't align. Um, don't know how to treat someone. Don't know what a real relationship is. Uh, they are users. And that came from Sister Merlene, Lord have mercy. And y'all, Sister Merlene, uh, I think has a little bit of experience. You know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I ain't yeah. trying to say she's old, but she's got some experience. Yes. And 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 we do know, y'all, we do know. Come on, y'all. We know people who just want to use somebody, right? And then the male said, I don't see any potential of anything more than just friendship. No interest. Attitude, stank, demeanor. I think that, was that Jamal? Was that you, Jamal, that said that last week? Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> he said, yeah, and I ain't no, ain't no shame in my game. The mindsets don't connect, lacks the ability to communicate. Lord, who was that? Uh, Marcel, was that you or, or was that Jamal again? Anyway, it don't matter who said it. I, I agree with it. And then, <laughs> Lord have mercy, the, the person refuses to distance themselves from their ex. Heck, yeah, I know you're right. Lord have mercy. So anyway... These are the reasons that the males and the females said that they put someone in the friend zone. Uh, Brittany and Rita, Rita Morgan. Hello, Rita Morgan. You're going to say hello to us and, and tell us where you're from, Rita? Yes, I'm from Tyler, Texas. Tyler, Texas. Can you hear me? Yeah. How are y'all doing? Good. Well, who invited you to join us, Rita? 
Trafina did. I'm trying to see if she's on here. Yeah. She said y'all had a real good discussion last week, so I didn't want to miss it this week. Okay, well, yeah. Text her and see where she is, because she yeah. made one of these comments that was on the board. And uh, oh. I'll, I'll uh, put you back on mute. And then, uh, Cresha, can you just say hello to us again? Just say hey. Hello. All right, thank you. And uh, L. Patrice, say hello, would you please? What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, Anita Weidman, hello. Can you say hello? Hello. All right, Anita. Glad to have you join us. Uh, Marcel is going to say something, I'm sure, shortly here. Okay, y'all. Okay, so I did say I wasn't going to do a whole lot of review, but let me just do this real quick. Remember, I, I, pro I brought this quote up. You don't marry someone you can live with. You marry the person who you cannot live without. I think that's a really good uh, sentiment, attitude, et cetera. So I look for these qualities because I was trying to answer the question, when did I know that it was time for me to move to the next level with Kim? And I look for these qualities, y'all. Availability, compatibility, credibility, flexibility, spirituality, versatility, stability, hospitality, punctuality, reliability, sensibility, suitability, capability, likability, sensuality, morality, nobility. Anybody know what nobility means? Somebody give us an idea of what nobility means. Honorable. Honorable, okay, there you go. Um, vulnerability, y'all. Um, so those were the reasons that I needed, <clears throat> that I was looking. Once I saw those, once I saw those, y'all, it, it was clear to me it was time to move to the next level. Now, uh, and if you were here last week, you know that I uh, was cornered into a phone call right after the call last week. And I had that conversation. And I want to try to continue that conversation because some said I was more confused after this call than I was before. Um, and somebody said, this was the first time you said that, that you dated uh, Kim, I think. So somebody, uh, Andrea, talk to me. Talk to us. Hey, Brother Bradley, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Yeah, so um, on last week, we talked, what, about an hour after the, our last call? At least. Uh, at least an hour, yeah. And one of the things, my biggest concern was, um, first of all, I was pretty much asking at what point y'all moved from being friends to um, exclusivity. And this one we discussed that you have always been exclusive one-on-one. -on -one. And I told you my concern was from the discourses that we have had, that that was not the understanding that I was getting as far as how we were describing friendships um, and what you were describing in my terminology was a courtship and not a, uh, a dating scenario. Right, and, and let's pause right there for just a moment and See what people so 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 tell us, uh, Andrea, what your understanding of courtship. So, what your understanding of courtship is courtship, friendship, dating. Because one of the workshops that we do is we challenge the participants to define what dating is. But you bring up another term which I think is critical to our understanding and, and so that all of us can be on the same play on the same level you bring up the term courtship um so uh define for us what what base oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to change the screen uh define for us andrea what those terms mean to you and then we'll see what others <clears throat> what others believe so oh, for, for me, courtship is that, es that exclusivity. That's where we're moving toward marriage. 
Okay. Dating would be the more getting to know stage, and I can get to know multiple people. And friendship is merely that we're just friends. Okay. Let me now. All right. So courtship is exclusivity, right? Yes. Okay. Dating is getting to know. Mm -hmm. And in that phase, I can, uh, in your mind, that is, in your mind, yes. when you're in the dating phase, you can date multiples. Correct. Okay. Okay. And then friendship is what again? Just that. We're just friends. Yeah, we're just friends. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, now, somebody else, uh, you've heard what she said. What say ye? What think ye, uh, to use scriptural language, <laughs> old, king, old king language? Uh, the only thing that I would add to what she said is when you're talking about courtship and exclusive and, and exclusivity, yes. I would also say that it is going towards a common goal of building a foundation for a solid relationship. So it ain't like we're just going to be exclusive, you know, for the next six months. It's building on something that is, you know, we're trying to figure out if we can make this work on a forever basis. That's the only thing that I would add. Okay. I agree with her. All right. Now, so, okay. So, so in the, in the courtship phase, you are, you are agreeing that you all have decided that you're going to be exclusive, right? Yes. Okay, but you want to add to that what again? That the goal, frame? the goal of that exclusivity is for a long-term relationship. Okay, I got you. Because uh, you know sometimes people become exclusive, and it's more of a, their idea of it is more of a try before you buy thing, and not necessarily their wanting a long-term relationship so i think that that has to be specified okay now that's okay, something now, that they should do during the dating phase uh, okay right okay now you, so you introduced the term there or uh, phrase try before you buy <laughs> and, <laughs> don't play uh, yeah yeah okay all right but but now <laughs> now when you say <laughs> now when you say try um are, are you saying that uh, w to what level are we trying and what are we trying exactly? Well, for the people that I've known in the past, it's any anything that they can try. It's testing limits. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay. I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Um, okay. Well, let's see what others have to say because I think this is a good spot for us to be in because y'all it's my belief it's my position that our society is so cavalier about sex that dating means sex getting to know you means sex <laughs> friendship means sex uh courtship means sex that's kind of what I've seen. Now, um, I was blessed. Once I went through my divorce, I was blessed to not have to be out there single very long. So I may be way off in what I, but, but the people that I talk to, I'm telling you, I get the very distinct impression that all of those mean sex. Y'all talk to me. When I when I look at the the, uh, the term dating, and just the way I've always looked at it, uh, when I say I'm dating someone, at that point we are exclusive. We both decided that we want to pursue a relationship with each other, and there there are no other interests. I'm not engaging in um, those conversations, the same type of conversations with other females. She, she is my girlfriend. I'm her boyfriend. We're, we're in a relationship when I say I'm dating someone. Before that, we're just friends. Okay. This is the way I look at it. Okay, now, um, okay, so, 
I'm sure Andre is, is kind of smiling right now um, because, y'all, <laughs> I guess I guess I hadn't made myself real clear about my relationship with Kim. Um, okay, so when we started talking, y'all, I was yeah, like late 40s, 48, 49. <laughs> and it was so difficult for me, y'all. A 49 year old, <laughs> it almost sounds stupid, but it was it was difficult for me to tell somebody <laughs> I had a girlfriend. I don't know, y'all. It just it, it just the old school in me. I don't know. It I wanted everybody to know I had that someone special, but boy, every time I tried to say it, it was like I hesitated. But there was no doubt in my mind she was my girlfriend. But a 49, 48 year old with a girlfriend to me just sounded weird. Y'all know what I'm saying? And but there was no no there was no doubt there was no ex, um, mistaking the fact that we were exclusive. Okay, but anyway, that's one of the conversations that we had. I had last week with Andre as well. Um, okay, so so but you know what, William, what you just said is my definition of dating as well. But do you see, do you see group how confusing things can be just semantics, just our definition, just our understanding of phrases and words because for William and myself, dating is exclusive, but for Andrea and for, for Rosalind, dating is getting to know and it's okay to be multiple. Yes, go ahead, Andre. Brother Bradley and William, um, Google it and look up in the Merriam-Webster di dictionary and see what it is. And, and here's the problem. Here's the problem with dictionaries. Um, dictionaries. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to check on my mom. Dictionaries will give the current a lot of times the current understanding of words. That's why, by the way, you should not ever or rarely use a Webster dictionary to define a word in the scripture. Okay. And now, Andre, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking what you're saying, uh, but that is a good basis for our understanding. And anybody else have a different definition of dating before we move? Because I want to see if we can can go, and I'm gonna, as soon as I get my mom settled on this camera, I'm gonna look um, and- So, Brother Bradley, may, may, may I ask a question? Yes. So on one hand, you mentioned how society has phrased friendship, relationship, this, that, and the other, based on sex, but then you don't wanna use society's definition for courtship? No, I didn't say I didn't want to use it. I just said we have to be careful uh, because dictionaries do go with the current trends a lot of times in, in, in phrases and terminology. And, and that's okay. And here's the real point. And here's the real, here's the real point. As long as you and the person you're talking to agree with y'all's definition, then it doesn't matter what the dictionary says. It doesn't matter what James says. It doesn't matter what Andrea says. As long as the two of you agree on what dating means, on what courtship means, on what or when exclusivity is to take place, as long as y'all agree, it doesn't matter what anybody says or thinks or what's been printed. Would you all agree with that? Now that I can agree with. Okay, good. All right. So um, anybody else have... Any, any other input on dating or friendship or courtship or exclusivity or any of that? James, I want to I want to point out this. There was a while ago I was talking to uh, you know, a Christian. She's a member of the church. And we had this. It was actually we were in two different states. So you didn't have that possibility of us seeing each other on a daily basis, but we were working like towards something. Uh, after a while, you know, like she started to distance herself 
from talking to me. And I still start to reach out. And, you know, when you, when a man reaches out, you know, I'm, I'm the type I love with my heart. You know, you know, if I'm into you, I'm really into you. There's nobody else I'm going to be talking to or dating or, you know, seeing somebody behind your back. My, my emphasis was, you know, she stopped talking to me. You know, when I reach out to her, even this on a friendly basis, I get no response, which I feel, you know, as a Christian, you know, you should not be acting this way. And it, it, it shies me away from, from dating like anyone else, which I know is not, not uh, which is sad, but, you know, it's just something I wanted to point out. Okay. All right. Y'all continue the conversation because it's recorded. I'll be able to catch up. I got to see where mom is going right now. Y'all, y'all c- continue. William, take over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a, any notes or anything, but but uh, I guess did anybody else have any any other other input on those those I guess definitions of the the terms we're using? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm pretty much in agreement with the sentiments of you and brother Bradley as far as dating. I don't want to belabor the point, but I take majority of my cues from my aunts, my uncles, people that have been married 20, well, actually 30, 40, 50 years. And I ask them about, you know, how did they make it? How were they able to get this for this and that? Not knocking what my generation, mind you, I'm, I'm 37 years old, is doing, but what we're doing isn't working, by and large, because we can't stay married. Some of us, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't say all of us, but a lot of people I know can't stay, don't stay married three, four, five, six years. So I try to go back and reach to speak to other people that have been married for some duration of time. And in some ways, try to mirror what they did in relationships, courtships, dating and everything else because like I said what they did argue arguably or not I have uncles aunts been married 30 40 years longer than I've been alive so to me what we're doing in this generation to some degree or another is not not working I agree I agree with that as well it's always good to go back to those uh what I call old school minds and get you know what what happened back in before technology came in and messed everything up yeah um so you know um what about it? anybody else I'm trying to stall until he gets back there he is there i am <laughs> yeah i'm sorry y'all. Mom, mom was going well. in a whole other direction she shouldn't have been heading toward the kitchen i um, i i definitely agree with what uh, jamal said and i take my example from older people um, as well, looking at parents who've been married for over 40 years, uncles and aunts who've been married for over 40 years, church members who've been married for over 60 years. And so that's how I try to function whenever I enter into a relationship, whether it's a friendship, a dateship, or a courtship. (laughs) That's where I take my cues from. I think in terms of relationship, it's, it's kind of um, different and challenging now, nowadays because when you look at it, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's um, dysfunctional. It's luggage just coming into the relationship on, on both ends. So that has to be taken into, into a factor. Like sometimes they looking for a way out of um, emotional way out and things of that nature. Um, so when you find somebody, um, and you started dating them, I think it's, it's very good to look at their history, their past, not judge them, but um, uh, uh, their past has a lot to do with it. Like one of my friends, you know, he's a great, great, great guy. I mean, I kind of like him, but he's in the friend zone, definitely. But however, he has his, um, his ideal is like from his mother, um, because his mother had a man, a step, uh, cause he, he has a stepfather of um, his 
father was not in the house, but the mother had another man in the house that was raising a kid. So that was his stepfather. So Calvin thought that that was his role to do when he go into a relationship is to foster what his what what that man did for his mother, help out kids, you know, help the woman out, you know, in that type of way. And and so I, I'm just saying you just I have to take me personally, I had to take a look at their um I don't know what word to use, but um, it, it was his, his, his background, you know, so we didn't work out, but we still friends because I ain't had no kids for him to take care of <laughs> or for him to stay in a relationship with me. Mine is grown, but I'm just saying um, he's still a, a, you know, a great guy. You know, he's still a great guy. He's still good. Yeah. Does for his kids, car, brush off snow. I don't know. Handyman, all the other type of stuff though, but yeah, sometimes. Okay. I'm sorry, were you, were, you, were you done, Felicia? I can be. No, Thank no, you. no, go ahead. No, I don't want to cut you off, so go ahead. I don't want to belabor it. I don't want to belabor it either, but I'm just saying sometimes you just have to take into consideration the person that you meet, you know, what their motive is or, or their background. You know, when you meet them up front, they're like really nice and cool and everything. But um, when you start dating and become friends, that's when they get categorized and that's when you walk away or stay. Okay, after yeah. After in, intense conversations. Right. And, and see y'all that's, um, so that's part of the, that's the crux of how do you know when you want to take it to the next level is the getting to know you. Okay. Now, when does that happen? Now, by the way, you can be getting to, first of all, if you are in a relationship with an individual, again, we remember we said a relationship is when you first meet somebody, the relationship is established. Now, what? obviously it's on this very, you know, primary level, but it's a relationship nonetheless, right? Um, right. Getting to know somebody uh, can happen and should be happening through all the phases of the relationship the dating phase, the courtship phase, the friendship phase, all of that, okay? Now, I, I don't think it's prudent for us to try to make one definition stick for everybody. Whatever your definition of dating is, whatever your definition of friendship is, of courtship or whatever, just make sure that the individual that you are in a relationship with understands what your understanding of those things are, right? I, I wouldn't try to, to change Andrea's mindset about courtship, friendship, dating, or whatever. I think dating is the exclusive part, uh, but you know what? Uh, after high school, exclusivity was kind of the way I prefer to operate. I never wanted more than one girlfriend. I mean, it just, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the old fashioned, I don't know. But, but that's, that's the way I, that's the way I operate. Um, and as I mentioned, and I, uh, Andre and I talked about this last week, when I was talking to Kim, I wasn't talking to anybody else. I wasn't interested in anybody else. It was just Kim. And I'm going to, and, and see, for me, my strategy is I'm, I'm, like, I'm like a rifle rather than a shotgun, you know, and, and I don't know if y'all know anything about shotguns and rifles, but a shotgun, when you shoot it, it sends out a bunch of pellets, right? A rifle has one thing coming out and, and I tend to be more focused and I believe that if I can focus, then I can really do a good job, watch this now, getting to know you. That's, that's the way I operate, y'all. Um, men, the women want to hear. Jamal, uh, Marcel, uh, William, uh, is there anybody, any other male? Henry. Oh, hold on, y'all. We got Henry and Winston. Let me see who these young men are. Uh, y'all unmute yourselves and tell us who you are and where you come from, please. Don't, don't be shy. Winston. 
Hello, Winston. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, good, good. My name is Winston Lottimore. I'm a member of the Brighton Hill Road Church of Christ in Bermuda. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. Um, Bermuda. Yeah. Now, we, ha we have just gone international. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome. Uh, hold your thought, uh, Winston. I wanna, I wanna get to Henry. Let me see if I can get Henry to Hello. unmute. Don't, don't be shy, Henry. Unmute, please, sir. Okay. Well, while while Henry's trying to figure out how to unmute, gentlemen, I think the ladies want to hear. La ladies, I don't know. I don't want to speak for you. Uh, I've said what what I believe and view dating it as and and friendship and courtship. Uh, and by the way, let me also say, just like I said, getting to know you is in all phases. The friendship is in all phases, because y'all, let me tell you, Kim and I are best friends, have been forever. Tan, is that you down at the bottom again, please? You know it. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and y'all, by the way, uh, Tan knew uh, knew Kim before I did. Right. And and Tan, you kind of saw us in our different phases. Maybe yep. I don't know. Yes, we yes, yes. We were trying to keep things secret from everybody. <laughs> but but Tan, uh, give give the folks a little insight before I go back to the men and find out kind of. Uh, you know where they stand yeah it was a very interesting observation because of course i knew kim's history um with her ex-husband and then you were very transparent when you came to greenville with your big old thick wedding band on <laughs> and then boy that was a big wedding band okay i'm gonna tell you brother and uh then you took it off all right so okay you know, but I was married, everybody, very happily married. I'm widowed. My husband died eight years ago. So that's why I'm quiet on this call, because I have a lot of the experiences that you all are still working toward. Um, but you guys were uh, clandestine, but at the same time, it was very sweet, um, because you had all this really transparent insight into marriage, divorce and remarriage. And uh, like you said, you were focused because you already knew that you enjoyed being married. You just didn't enjoy how the last one ended. Mm -hmm. But um, I knew she enjoyed being married too, except for the fact that her partner wasn't acting right. So it was a beautiful kind of a, a symmetry that you both had. And um, I think y'all did really well with you know, trying to keep things under wraps because there is a big audience in the place where you met. <laughs> Absolutely, 2,500 members, y'all. Um, and and let me tell you, 2,500 people, uh, in that 2,500, you got all kinds, all kinds who want to try to sabotage. Uh, a brother came to me and, and y'all, Tan said I had my wedding band on because when I first went to Greenville Avenue, I was legally still married, right? I knew it was over, but I couldn't afford the lawyers and all that stuff to do the divorce. And then many, uh, a year or so later, somebody said, you don't need a lawyer. You can go, go online and download the, the paperwork and do all that stuff. Well, you can if you don't have children. If you have children, <laughs> you are gonna need a lawyer. But anyway, y'all, Lord have mercy, in Texas anyway. Um, I don't know about a, a other place because the only place I live is Texas. But uh, I did take this off once the divorce was final. Woo, y'all, I couldn't wait. Lord have mercy. I, I almost wanted to cut my finger off anyway. <laughs> but uh, before before I cut, uh, before I took the wing, ring off when I was still married, y'all, let me just tell you, a brother came up to me at church right after Sunday school and told me a sister in the in the in the class wanted to talk to me okay two problems with that one why is he coming up to you yeah, thank you thank you Jamal 
thank you. Why in the world is he coming to tell me? And then I just did this. Bruh, you see this? I'm still married. Y'all, marriage is important to me. Even mm -hmm. though I knew mine was done, I was still legally married. That means I'm off limits. Do y'all get that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And anyway, I hope y'all appreciate that. Um, but Tan, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that perspective. Uh, there were nights when, and by the way, uh, Tan is a licensed cosmetologist. She and Kim worked in the same shop. Uh, Kim was licensed uh, cosmetologist and they did hair. And you know, it's a lot of talking when they do hair. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, y'all, let me shut up because I think we were in a good spot. I want the men, I, I don't know, men, what, what, when do you, when do you want it to be exclusive? Maybe the ladies would benefit from hearing from you as to when you know it's exclusive. Winston, you can jump back in if you, if you choose to do so, sir. So, um, I'm sort of in the middle of both you and the sister. Um, Andrea? Yeah. Because, um, especially even here in Bermuda, where I'm from, um, dating is not really considered exclusive. Dating is getting to know a bunch of different people. You know, you can take them out, you get to know them. And then once you get to courting, then that is your girlfriend. Like she will be, your, if you choose one person, she will be your girlfriend. But I'm also like you where if I'm dating someone, I'm only interested in that one person. So I don't spread myself thin like that. If I'm dating someone, I concentrate on getting to know that one person. But the norm is here that dating is just that you're just dating around different with different people okay wow okay and and i don't think that's a whole lot different than than here but i do think it's interesting that you too have the same mentality that if if i'm dating if i understood you if i'm dating someone then i just want to be focused on that um okay yeah. Yeah. uh marcel i was raised old I'm sorry, go ahead. Old school as well, so. I'm sorry, say that again. I was saying I was raised old school as well. Okay. I'm saying I was raised old school as well. Can you hear okay. me? Yes. Uh-huh. And and I was saying you, I was raised old school as well, like you were saying. So okay. My my mother and father. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. No. Just keep talking. It just sounds like it keeps breaking up. Sorry. Um, I was just saying, I was raised old school as well. So that's how my parents were. That's how they taught me. So, but nowadays things have changed more into dating is a, it's just a random term for, you know, getting to know other people. When you say getting but, to know other people, what does that mean? That means you're 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 taking out more than one female. You're, you know, getting to know whether or not you want to be exclusive with with them or whomever. And then once you decide, then you be you start courting. That's your actual girlfriend, but you have to cut the others off. That's exclusivity. Gotcha. Okay, Marcel uh, or Jamal or William, either one. Um, I think William's kind of already told us, but but William, when do you when do you know when do you decide it's it's I want to be exclusive? Um, for me, it's it's uh, someone. Okay, as I'm getting to know, I think um, what Andre was saying is that. You can date and several people. I consider that just friendship. So as I'm friends and I'm engaging in conversation, I'm hanging out with them. It's not a date. I'm hanging out with this person. 
I'm getting to know them. I'm starting to see that their ideology, that their mindset, that their goals and ambitions and, and their spirituality and, and, and just them as a whole lines up with where I want to be and where I am and where I consider myself going. And so that person starts to stand out from the rest. Hmm. So that's when I start to, to key in on, on that, that particular person, when I realize that there is, okay, this is something that, that could be more than just, just friendship at that point. Okay. All right. Uh, Jamal or, or Marcel, either one. The question is, when did do you, we decide we want to be exclusive? Yes, sir. Okay, well, well, for me, uh, when I meet a young lady and she is kind of a free thinker, a free spirit, and she's echoing the sentiments of will, different from the majority of the women, I come into contact on a regular basis that some type of air, pleasant spirit about her that sets her apart from everyone else I see. And, you know, we've conversed in the in the meantime and the and we can you know mutually decide we want to enter into a dating relationship then it's something that i will approach her about and see if she consents i can't of course <laughs> do it without her consent but uh that's basically how it goes for me okay i mean that's that's kind of what where, where it starts for me all right so so you you looking you're looking for a free spirit um what does that mean exactly? When I, when I say a free spirit, independent thinker, I don't, I don't talk to women that are trendy, that are doing what everyone else is doing just because it's popular, it's the happening thing, it's the new hashtag. I want somebody that beats to, I mean, march, marches to the beat of her own drum, meaning whatever she wants to do, that's what she does. If other people are doing it, fine. If nobody else is doing it, that's fine too. Amen, brother. Okay. All right. I got you. Okay. Uh, Marcel. Uh, I mean, she has to, I don't know. I think the time that I'm ready. No, I'm, I'm going to pass my daughter's here. Okay. I got you. Understand. Completely understand. Okay, ladies, um, have you heard anything that uh, raises any questions in your mind? <sighs> Nessie, you've been awfully quiet tonight. Are you at work? You going to talk to me? Yes, I am at work. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Go on back and mute. Tricia. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, you got anything to say based on what these men have said? <laughs> no, sir. Okay. Then answer me this, Tricia. Uh, your definition of dating is what? Getting to know that person. Okay, but when you're getting to know that person, is that exclusive or not? What you say? So when you're getting to know someone in the dating phase, is that exclusive or not? Anybody else want to jump in? Y'all, come on. We got we got a few more minutes left. Okay, I just got back from my. From, remember, I told you I was in two places. What right, what I mean? Right. What what do you want to know? I'll, I'll answer. <laughs> uh, okay, so we we've, we've gotten differences of opinion on the terms courtship, dating, friendship, etc. Uh, uh, Andrea's view is friends is just that dating is getting to know you and you could be dating multiple people. Courtship is when we go exclusive, according to Andrea. Um, 
And then Rosalind added the goal in the courtship phase has to be uh, we want a long term relationship. OK, um, for me and William, dating is exclusive. Um, that's when we are boyfriend and girlfriend and we are exclusive. Um, so um, I was just asking the ladies, you know, to respond to that or when what is what is your definition of when is it exclusive? Let's just zero in on that. When do you go exclusive, Alicia? Well, I would I would hope that we would have a meeting of the minds and we would discuss that and not just assume. I don't want because I know I don't want to assume and and I would hope that he wouldn't want me assuming anything. Okay, so which which is your what is your definition? Do do you agree with the the the? I agree with both the both the men and the women that have have said, but it's all defined in how that person defines what dating and courtship is, because. Basically, both of them are, are just, it's the person's definition of it. So you yeah. just have to communicate. Right. Basically. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Because if if you, in your mind, you think dating is exclusive, but they think it's, hey, we can see anybody we want to, y'all going to have some issues, right? Serious right. issues. Yeah, that, that's going to be an issue. That's why, again, we don't need to, to say what is the firm definition of dating and, and, and courtship and all of that, as long as we both agree and understand what those terms mean and where we are. So, uh, but, and, and I hope this discussion tonight has been helpful um, to make sure that we understand that there is no firm definition for what dating is. Uh, we all may ha have a different definition for dating and friends and and courtship. Um, I know some folks who are friends, but they don't have a problem having sex. <laughs> what <laughs> is wrong with that? Did y'all see Anita? Anita said, Lord have mercy. Yeah, that ain't right. That ain't right. Uh, but <laughs> hey, somebody call it friends with benefits. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, hello. Um, and folks, there are those who think that if we're dating, that means we're allowed to have sex. There are those who are courting and say, it's okay for us to have sex. And that's why there are people who believe that if you go to dinner, it's okay to have sex. So. <laughs> that's true. It's that's some true. people you only have to go to dinner with. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. I went to uh, a movie with a guy and he said, so what are you, what are you gonna say? I said, excuse me? Thank you. <laughs> and that's what I told no. him. I, and then he said, now what else? And, he, and I was like, again, thank you. Yeah, it was a great movie. Or it was, <laughs> or it was a horrible movie. <laughs> I was like, I hope you didn't think that we were going to have sex. He was like, well, that was kind of the point. I said, oh, no, well, you thought wrong. And yeah. he was a member of the church. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's, the that's the question. So he was a saint. And he was somewhere faking, huh? A member of the, the Church of Christ, yes. He was, just, yeah. he was supposed to be. He wasn't, a, he wasn't a saint, though. No, no, no but I mean, yeah. Okay, all right. See, see, that's exactly... But now you want to say he ain't a saint because he wanted to have sex? <laughs> 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 I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he's not a, he wasn't a saint because... He he wanted to have sex, but Saint don't have that sex. Was set up. You don't have to answer that. Right, she's that messing with you. Mind. She oh, pulling one of your methods off. Okay, all right. You have a right answer to that, Jamada. There's no. Right <laughs> okay, I was about to get some scripture for. Her. <laughs> 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 um, and 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 you know y'all. Uh, I really do. I really do like where this discussion has gone tonight. I hope that you all do as well. Um, I think it's. I think it's helped to make the point, and Alicia will will validate what I'm saying, because we did some we did some singles workshops for them, and y'all, you got to start with the, your understanding of what the term dating means. Hmm. Because for some people, dating is we're going to the movie. <laughs> but if that individual <laughs> thinks that dating means we, if we go to a movie, we're going to have sex, 
<laughs> Boy, the, hey, I don't know if that, that should have been communicated before the movie because I Hello. saw what the is. <laughs> I don't know if there's a movie that good. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, but, 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 but let me also say y'all, let me go back to, and I think I took it out of this presentation, but let me go back to what Paul says in, in first Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. seven. If you are dating or if you are courting someone and you want to have sex, Paul says, ain't nothing wrong with that wanting y'all y'all didn't let me finish i know y'all are about to run out of here and go to your girlfriend's house or boyfriend's house no but if you are courting or dating or friends with someone and you want to have sex paul says marry mm -hmm. it's better to marry than to burn and he was talking about with passion not burning in hell because if you burn with passion y'all if you burn with passion you are going to act upon that. So please don't, please don't misunderstand. That's how, by the way, wouldn't God have been a wrong God to give us these desires and these senses and these feelings and all of this stuff and not give us a way to enjoy them? He says, that's what I want you to do because I want y'all to have babies and make more Christians, more children of God. That's <laughs> why he blessed Adam and Eve and said, be fruitful and multiply. Okay, but y'all, if you are friends or dating or courting someone and you wanna have sex with them, if you don't wanna marry them, you need to check your desires. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna pull on that, huh? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> and and I I don't know, y'all. I, I I just don't get this new society, except when you have it in your face as much as it is in our face, y'all. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You 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 know how many of y'all like to go to see PG thirteen movies? Not by myself. Now, if I'm taking my nephew or my <laughs> a child, then I'll take a child, but not by myself. I'm not on a date. Right. Okay. You, you, so you you probably more into the rated R movies. Mm -hmm. Y'all get what I'm saying? But let me, let me, uh -huh. let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, y'all hear that bell I mean, ring? That means school is in. Let me, let me just tell you. <laughs> You, if you're you saying G, that's one thing, but PG, that's that's universal to go with somebody or by yourself. Because PG, PG thirteen, that's like that's a standard rating. Now, if you're talking right. about G, you know that's questionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but let's see. I was I was trying to make this point, and here's the yeah, point. See, he's going somewhere else other than movies. Yeah, I know yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, exactly. He's going. <laughs> see, see, see. You can't get an R rating. Unless you have cussing, smoking, sex, nudity, you can't get an R rating without those. And these movie makers know that the vast majority of people ain't coming to see the movie if it ain't at least an R rating. Hmm. You get on Netflix, they got this term TVMA. Now, hold on now, let me. The bell is still ringing. School is still in. And let me tell you, before the movie, when you click on that movie that, and you can see what is rated before, y'all know what I'm talking about because y'all be searching for movies based on the rating. But anyway, no, when you no. <laughs> when you see <laughs> when you see TVMA and you click on that movie, before the movie starts, they have to tell you why it got an MA rating, and it will say either. Uh, smoking or drug use or yeah. nudity or sexual whatever. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Okay, my mm, point yeah. is oh. there are some people in their dating who need to put a sign on them as to what whether they are TVMA or <laughs> R-rated or PG-13 or... Nice. 
wouldn't that help? Lord have mercy. Man. But mm -hmm. we know that ain't the case. That's no. why mm -hmm. you do your diligence to get to know them. So what about mm -hmm. no? What about not rated yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get rated, huh? <laughs> that, that's a good one. And how do you pronounce that last name? A-G-E-R. Okay, pronounce it for me. Ager. Ager. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right now. You make a very good point. You make a very good point. And by the way, whenever you enter into a relationship, every one of them is not yet rated. Ooh, that's deep right there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Not yet rated. But the more mm -hmm. time we spend together, I'm going to put a rating on you. And mm -hmm. once I do that, y'all, Lord have mercy, I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to know what your motivation is for wanting to spend time with me. Mm -hmm. And if you think I'm worthy, then we have a chance. And maybe that's when we go exclusive. If, on the other hand, you think I'm easy, you have been rated X, meaning <laughs> you are an X prospect. Mm -hmm. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this call because I want to go see the one that I chose to spend the rest of my life with. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. And by the way, Brother Winston, thank you for taking us international. Please, please spread the word and tell some of your other brothers and sisters over there. And, yes, uh, and uh, y'all come on back next Thursday. Is next, thir next Thursday not Christmas, is it? No. Oh, uh, it's not. No. no, that's Whoa. the 19th, right? <laughs> Okay. Wow, that's, that's a 17. 17. Whatever. <laughs> whatever Brad, it is. Y'all know what I'm saying. Brother uh, Brad, I did want to ask you a question before you leave. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The, the, one, the, the people holding those drinks behind you are those uh, alcoholic, <laughs> non alcoholic <laughs> beverages like lemonades and teas or what? Okay. So that. that uh, okay, so if you notice, I tried to position myself where you wouldn't see those, and oh. you you wouldn't have known what those were, my brother, unless I'm just saying. <laughs> but but no, seriously, I went on I went on Pixabay and Stock Unlimited to try to find a picture of young adults, and I put in friends uh, because we were talking about the friend zone. But everyone that had young adults in it, the friends had drinks. Lord have mercy. And so I tried to position my big old head so y'all wouldn't focus on them, but y'all did anyhow. <laughs> I so, just remember seeing a few almost some billboards going down the road. That's all. Yeah. So uh, I hope y'all haven't been tempted now to go get you one of these, <laughs> these drinks. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. I'm leaving y'all. Y'all can stay on if you want to, but... <laughs> <laughs> this end button. Love y'all. Good night. Thanks. Bye. Love you everybody. too. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a good night.